Hey Freebs Nation, Jordan Page from FunCheaperFree.com here. And today I am gonna help your mornings run way smoother. We're gonna cover school morning hacks that are gonna blow your mind. Whether we like it or not, we are back to school, which means earlier mornings than we're probably used to, more rush, 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 more places to be. It's beautiful and hard all at the same time, I think we can admit, right? Have no fear, today I'm gonna help you get those morning routines really ironed down and help you just make your mornings run so much smoother, especially on those early school or work mornings. I've got several tips that are really gonna help, so enough gabbing, let's just do it. On with the tips. Tip number one. This is a tip not only for your kids, but for you as well. And that is to shower at night instead of in the morning. A lot of people just can't fathom the thought of going through your day without showering in the morning. But I mean, can you fathom the thought of climbing into your bed super dirty from the day? I mean, it kind of ends up working itself out. I started showering at night back when I had my first and second babies and it has changed my life because trying to shower and dry my hair and get ready in the morning, it really just added so much time to my day. Same with my kids. I used to bathe my babies in the morning and now there's just no way. We don't have enough time. Shower or bathe at night. And for those of you who need to blow dry and style your hair, just blow dry it and style it like you would, but then you can sleep with it up. You can sleep with a silk hairnet. You can sleep with a silk pillow. Do what you need to do to help you try to keep that style as best you can so that in the morning you can just wake up, touch up and go. It will probably save you at least 45 minutes in the morning. Now, another reason why you should consider showering your kids at night other than the fact that my kids anyway are sticky, dirty, nasty, stinky by the end of the day and I just wanna wash that off of them. But if they shower at night, then they can do tip number two, which is, you ready for this? Sleep with their clothes on. Let me repeat myself, sleep with their clothes on. You heard me right, try it. Especially those of you with young kids or maybe even teenagers that have trouble getting out of bed and getting some momentum in the morning. We started doing this with one of my daughters specifically who just was chronically late, moving so slow in the mornings, really not motivated, not a morning person, hashtag she gets it from her mama. And we had her start going to bed wearing her school clothes the night before and she would wake up and be like 15 minutes ahead of the game. It saved us so much time, so much hassle and honestly a lot of stress and anxiety on her end. If you don't love that idea, I totally get it. At least lay out your clothes the night before. And this goes for your kids, but this also works for you parents. And I've talked about this tip a lot before. It's one less decision that you have to make. It already motivates you to get out of your pajamas because you have something laying right there. The decision's been made. Just lay out your clothes, get dressed, and it'll definitely help move things along. A morning routine hack that again, I have talked about for years, I live and die by is make your bed. I know it's not very earth shattering, but it is actually because it gets you motivated. It's something you can accomplish in 30 seconds or less typically, and it makes your room look cleaner. You've accomplished something in the first few minutes of waking up. And at the end of the day, if you get nothing else done, at least your bed is made. But to add a hack on a hack, one thing I recommend, and again, I've talked about this before too, consider using zipper bedding. I prefer beddies. It is really high quality. My kids have had their beddies forever. I do have a coupon code. I will list it below. It has the fitted sheet. It's got a blanket and a comfort and everything's all zipped in one like a sleeping bag. It's magical. I even have one on my big girl bed because I like my bed to look nice and flat and straight and nice. And I love Bubba, but he's not the pickiest bed maker in the whole world. So now all he has to do is zip his side and it's done. Marriage saver. You're welcome. My next tack or tip for a smooth morning routine, especially back to school morning routine, is to create a super solid lunch system and snack system, which we've talked about this many times before. I will link it below. But the real trick is to pack your lunches at night so you don't have to do them in the morning. So basically, my tip is a non-tip because it's to eliminate something. Don't pack lunches in the morning. It seems so fast, it seems so easy, but it's really not. Just do everything you can the night before, even on down to filling up your water bottle and just keep it in the fridge. Heat up what you need to, but then you can grab your lunch sack and run. On those mornings where you are inevitably running late or you forget something or misplace something, it's one less thing to think about and you know that your kids are then running out the door with a healthy homemade lunch in hand instead of going to school and paying way too much for who knows what the lunch lady's serving that day. Meatloaf, 
no thanks. And with this lunch system that we're talking about, one of the hacks that I really want you to think about is utilizing leftovers to make your lunch packing easier, not only for your kids, but for you too. You don't always have to pack a cold lunch or eat a sandwich every day of your life. If you have leftovers, use them for lunch, even at school for your kids. I recommend picking up some little thermos containers. We have some Contigo containers that are from Costco. I love them because they're big and open. They have a really nice lid and some handles. So we just heat up leftovers from the night before, put them in the Contigo containers and they're warm all day until lunchtime. So then we're not only using leftovers we have, but we're giving our kids a variety of lunch so they're not then wanting to go buy hot lunch at the school. My last morning routine tip that has to do with lunches is, parents, this one's for you, pre-write cute little notes for your child's lunch. I know that there are some products out there where you can buy like a pad of paper that has a note already written on it and you just tear it off and put it in, but where's the personality and personal love in that, right? So what I would recommend is one night, turn on a movie, sit down, put on your favorite show, grab a big stack of post-it notes or three by five cards and just write cute little notes, write 20, 30, 50, as many as you can think of and keep them in a stack. So in the mornings before they go to school, all you have to do is pull off a sticky note of a pre-written love note to your kids, stick it in their lunch and they will have such a better day and then you won't have to worry about remembering it on such a busy school morning. Another super helpful back to school morning routine hack or tip is remake your breakfast. I love cold cereal. Bubba really loves cold cereal, but in our house we've learned that it's better as a snack than it is a meal because it just breaks down as sugar and it goes through their system so fast, they're hungry like 30 seconds later and it doesn't usually have many nutrients in it, usually just has a lot of sugar in it. So in our house, we like to have a warm breakfast with some protein, helps their brains function throughout the day and it keeps them energized and plug in through that long day at school. But sometimes we just don't have the time to fry up something or cook up something or bake something from scratch. So take a day, maybe it's a Saturday or a Sunday or whatever, and make three, four, five, breakfast at a time, portion them and freeze them. So all you have to do on a school morning is heat them up and go. I actually have a video that I did for Rachel Ray that has a lot of great pre-made breakfast ideas. We've got breakfast burritos, we've got breakfast hash bowls, we've got French toast dipper sticks, a lot of different ideas. I will link all those below, but pre-make your breakfast so that you can serve your kids a nice warm breakfast and all you need is a toaster or microwave so fast. My last two morning routine hacks are to keep things that you need to help your kids get ready for school where you need them to get ready for school. We used to keep their shoes and their socks and their hair stuff up in their own bathrooms and bedrooms, but then we felt like there was so much frantic running around. It just made everything a little more complicated. So we wised up, we brought all the socks, all the shoes, all the toothbrushes, toothpaste, and even hair products and hair stuff downstairs where my kids spend the morning eating breakfast. And we put it all in the bathroom that's closest to the garage door where they usually leave out of to go to school. With that, one thing I recommend is to create a hair box or a hair bag that in it has a brush, a spray bottle, maybe some gel for your boy's hair and a couple of hair bows that you can just carry with you to the kitchen table or carry with you to the car and you can quickly do their hair while they're eating or reading or working on homework or doing other things in the morning. And it really helps you multitask by keeping that stuff on hand near where you are. And I don't know, I just don't think it's that gross to be doing hair down in the kitchen area while my kids are getting ready. You do you, but for me, it's been a lifesaver. I've never found their hair in my food yet, so it works. So there you go, you guys. Those are some quick tips for having a much smoother, hopefully more productive and organized morning routine. If you like these tips, give me a thumbs up and it lets me know. But also if you want more help setting up systems and routines just like this, I have a productivity program. It's called Productivity Bootcamp. It's super fun and you can use the code YouTube for 10% off and it'll really help you just have a much smoother day just like these morning routines would. All right, new videos on Thursday, so be sure to subscribe. I'm just actually gonna let you go. I have a lot to do to prepare for tomorrow morning and I'm gonna go work on it practice what I preach you guys have a good day and I will talk to you later bye show mommy show mommy come on come on yay come on show mommy come on who's that oh we got Living scriptures, huh?